Getting up-to-date information out quickly became an important asset for AFN when the Cold War reached its peak. After more than a decade of detente or peaceful coexistence between the United States and Soviet Union, the Reagan administration decided to take a hardline stance. When I landed in 1985, it was shortly after Ronald Reagan had made his uh, evil empire speech. So when I got here, I knew there was an enemy and I knew it was the Soviet Union. In the early 1980s, the Soviet Union deployed intermediate-range ballistic missiles in Eastern Europe. In response, the United States deployed land-based Pershing missiles in West Germany. The deployment of the nuclear-tipped warheads sparked a wave of heated debate and protest throughout the country. AFN continuously sought to inform its listening audience about the deployments and the planned protests. AFN sent Herb Glover to interview U.S. Ambassador Arthur Burns about the deployment. Many Americans have expressed a lot of concern and uneasiness about these demonstrations. Do you think they have cause for concern? Well, I think we should recognize, first of all, that uh, Germany has a democratic society. Germany is a democracy, just as America is. The most evident show of force designed to test U.S. prowess in the region and intimidate the Soviet forces in East Germany was the annual exercise Return of Forces to Germany, or Reforger. What it was was a rehearsal for World War III, uh, for lack of a better term. Uh, if the Red Army did come through the Fulda Gap and uh, did uh, attack NATO forces uh, in West Germany and uh, in the West, uh, the forward deployed forces that were in Germany uh, were to hold the Russian, the, the Red Army, uh, until reinforcements could arrive from the United States. Thousands of troops would converge on Germany from all over the United States, plus the troops that were stationed here. So you had these huge exercises. They weren't done by computer. They were done by human bodies moving the way they're supposed to move. AFN participated in the annual reforger exercises by providing coverage of maneuvers. Using the latest in radio and television technology, AFN was able to provide reports all over the simulated battlefield across many different parts of Germany. So when everybody deployed for reforger, we went along as part of the teams of coverage that would tell those stories. Improvements in technology also allowed AFN to provide live coverage to its European audience of major news events. One such event was Ronald Reagan's 1987 visit to Berlin. President Ronald Reagan is about to make an important speech at the Berlin Wall with the city's historic Brandenburg Gate as the background. The president is expected to deliver a strong foreign policy speech here in front of the Brandenburg Gate. General Secretary Gorbachev, if you seek peace, if you seek prosperity for the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe, if you seek liberalization, come here to this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall.